Hello guys, this is project 2 for shipping container home design. We're gonna build a two floor house making from two 20 feet containers and two 40 feet containers. The house is gonna be approximately 120 square meters. On the first floor we're gonna have a living room, kitchen, one spare room and one toilet, possibly toilet with bathroom. On the second floor, we're gonna have uh, two normal bedrooms and one master bedroom, uh, which is gonna have its own suite and walk-in wardrobe, plus one bathroom and another one small spare room. Um, it's very important for this project. When we place the foundation for the um, house, to make sure that we don't put just a basic uh, foundation because uh, the space which is going to stay between the 20 feet uh, to 20 feet containers uh, is going to be um, our um, living room. So, um, since um, it's going to be very difficult after you place the containers to start making certain isolations, um, it, you need to um, talk to an architect or uh, someone who is uh, familiar with this kind of constructions so it's going to give you the idea of the perfect foundation so you're not going to have uh, problems after you build the house um, in this video I'm not going to talk about um, the way I'm doing um, the house on the uh, software because in my previous video I give uh, almost all the options of uh, what and how it's done. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to be talking uh, mainly about the house and uh, certain stuff you need to know about um, building a house from uh, shipping containers. Now a very important thing um, for this project is to secure very well the 20 feet containers because they're gonna be holding a lot of weight and um, mm, since we're gonna have big cuts uh, for the um, stairway and as well for the kitchen which is gonna be partly open to the living room you need to make sure that um, you secure very well the uh, two contain the containers on the first floor the two 20 feet containers um, you can do that with um, some uh, metal rods or mm, something like this. Now, what I didn't talk in my uh, about uh, in my previous uh, videos, it was actually mm, the way um, and the materials you're gonna need to build the uh, actual house because putting the foundation and placing the containers in the right position is actually the most easy job of all. Um, you are going to have a lot of challenges with um, isolation from outside and inside. So make sure before you start your project, you make a small research on the uh, prices of the materials you're going to need. Now, mm, buying wood, um, it, it costs a lot of money. So uh, my suggestion is uh, go and buy mm, from some big company a lot of pallets they have, um, anything what is not in use anymore, so you can use it um, for the indoor isolation, for the inside isolation. But um, you need to make sure that you don't take the, the fat one, you need to find the slim uh, uh, pallets because actually the, the fat ones they're gonna get almost 10 centimeters um, in from each wall you do so um, the best solution is to find the slim ones or um, instead of um, making the uh, isolation from wood from inside you can make it with foam but um, actually doing it with foam is gonna cost you much more than uh, doing it with uh, wood and uh, mm, uh, the simple what the outside isolation I recommend um, you can spray the house with a um, uh, porcelain paint and then um, uh, cover it with wood or any uh, external um, materials you fancy 
Now, me personally, I believe that uh, wood is not a uh, material you should use for um, outside um, um, of the house because um, it's not lasting as long as other materials. So I would have go for um, any ready metal panels or something like this. And also it's going to give you more modern look of the house. So, um, here we are placing the two containers, as you see, uh, the two 20 feet. On top we place the two uh, 40 feet containers. Now, mm, the space you see under the um, um, two 40 feet containers is actually going to be our living room. So, um, when you're building, um, uh, when you finish with placing the containers, um, my suggestion is actually uh, make a brick wall, which is going to be the best um, solution uh, for this project. Also, it's going to give extra support for the building. But uh, if you don't want to go into so much expenses with brick walls, um, you can do one or two columns from cement, um, concrete, and then um, do the rest uh, in American style, just with wood. It's... Um, Everything depends on um, your um, your finances and the way you want to do it. Now, mm, when cutting the, um, uh, the openings through the uh, containers, do not throw away the, um, the metal you have cut. And uh, you can easily use it uh, for anything else, um, covering any other uh, holes you have. Um, other thing what I would have suggest is um, when choosing the floor, you can um, um, try to find the most uh, good isolation so you don't have to uh, do double isolation, which is under the flooring. Yeah, so you can um, just go and find something. Um, uh, some there is plenty of materials which uh, uh, give you extra. Uh, holding of the um, um, how can I express myself so you understand me um, for holding the hot in the house yeah so um, if you choose uh, just simple marble or the simple faience uh, they don't actually pro they have disabilities so um, uh, keeping hot the house in winter times it's gonna be more difficult for you um, uh, I suggest wood. Uh, wood is the best, um, th the best, and uh, in the same time, they are also soundproofing. I mean, it's not soundproofing, but it uh, softens, uh, softener, uh, soften the, um, the sound. Uh, it's not like um, if you put a, a ceramic or marble on the floor in the second floor. You, every time you walk through it, um, you're gonna hear it downstairs. So. Um, if you want to um, uh, make sure you don't have this problem, it's good to put um, the very thin isolation under and then uh, put um, a wooden floor. And in the same time, when you do the, uh, um, the roof, mm, you need to make very good isolation in there. And um, there is a lot of things you need to learn before you start any projects like this because it is the cheapest way to build a house. To build a house, but um, in the same time, if you work without architects, um, it could become a big mess. So uh, make sure that you make your research. You know what you're doing, and then you start with that, or just simply. Um, take someone on board with helping you with the house who has experience with that. Now, um, I've been away for quite some time. Um, I had uh, already done one project. Unfortunately, I cannot share uh, pictures and video of the projects because uh, the owner of uh, the property I done uh, did not agree to uh, pu uh, pu publish it online. So unfortunately, I cannot um, I cannot show you actual um, pictures of the um, um, site work. 
However, uh, I'm now I'm going into my second project. So um, after the experience I had, I can say that it does look easy, but it's actually not an easy job um, to do a house like this. So all of you who are running just um, are trying to do a project like this just because uh, just for saving money. If you don't think uh, of it very carefully, you end up spending uh, more than actually uh, getting a ready uh, house. So uh, be aware, be aware of um, everything you have to um, mm, you want to do with the house before you start the project. So by now you see that I have done with the um, uh, house. What I'm doing now is uh, covering the house with the panels, which uh, in the real project is going to be the outside isolation. Unfortunately, with this program, I cannot show you how it's going to be looking from inside and the things you have to do from inside. So um, you have to use your imagination. But of course, with the spaces which um, uh, project like this gives you um, you have um, a lot of choices um, a house like this um, is actually not gonna cost you so much because it gives you uh, 120 square meters which is about um, 15 16 thousand square feet I think I'm not very familiar with the uh, square feet uh, mainly working with uh, square meters um, anyway, mm, a living room in the size uh, which you're gonna get here, 36 square meters, is pretty big. Uh, most of the one-bedroom apartments in London are this size, so you can imagine how much big space you're gonna have to work with. And the best feature of it is like um, the front wall, which is uh, the front face of the house, um, as I suggested before, it's the best to be a uh, brick wall and the back one uh, you can make it uh, full glass uh, with a uh, with glass doors which is going to give you the uh, maximum view uh, especially if you are in a nice area but even if you are not uh, still it's going to give a lot of light to the house which for me personally um, uh, it's very important and especially having um, 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 partly open plan uh, kitchen and living room uh, with such a uh, open view is gonna give you a very modern look of the house um, not like uh, our typical um, houses with two or three big uh, windows anyway um, okay so far I'm almost done with that. In this project, um, I will cover the house with wood so you can have a, um, a look how it's going to look um, uh, uh, all the house covered with wood. But um, I, I, I don't have the, the uh, options in here to show you something better. So um, for me, this what I'm doing is the best possible um, look we can give to the house as a project we're talking about <coughs> <coughs> now <coughs> I'm sorry in 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 project like this you can actually twist the um, a lot of things you can change a lot of things especially about the uh, second floor you have a lot of options and uh, if you don't want to have a walk-in wardrobe or um, uh, second uh, bathroom I mean the suite bathroom and then I have another spare room in this project you can easily create another one bedroom the only problem is that you cannot actually create a walkway in in the middle so um, it's gonna be very difficult to place the different rooms in the in uh, the, the the perfect order. So you need to think very carefully how you're gonna um, arrange them, and of course to to be more convenient to live in. Okay, so um, as I'm doing now, you can see I'm uh, placing the wood 
around the house and um, in my opinion it actually looks very nice um, as you can see mm, of course um, in the real project I would have gone for a bit darker um, option because um, this kind of wood is gonna want too much um, um, attention um, so my suggestion is to go for something darker than that um, because uh, wood is not as um, uh, normal uh, house paint, outside house paint, you know um, it keeps the dirt uh, longer and in certain cases if it's not well um, uh, done, well, well polished the wood it might actually sink in the dirt so it's gonna stay as a stain so as much darker but not black as much darker color that much better that's what I'm doing now it's actually gonna be our um, um, window for the living room the as as you can see yeah and doing the doors actually um, I would have suggest um, when you're doing them you can actually do the whole wall uh, with many um, doors um, in a way uh, summertime yeah uh, to can open the whole wall so you have a absolutely open space for outside you will see what I mean now uh, when I finish with this so in this project because there you're gonna take about um, 8 meters distance yeah so around uh, 90 centimeters to a meter for a door it's gonna be about 8 doors which are connected so you, you just can uh, push them on the sides 4 by 4 and it's gonna open all the space um, that's a cr um, option in a house which I would love to have anyway um, so you can see the basic look of the house um, now um, I'm gonna put um, all the door out um, the outside door and the um, uh, windowsills around the house so we can uh, recreate more uh, realistic look uh, of the house um, for me it's very important when I uh, make a project like this to make it look as realistic as possible because um, no one actually wants to start a um, uh, project without having in mind how exactly it's gonna look and very often when you do projects like this uh, especially from shipping container houses and people don't really have the exact project and um, when you don't have guidance to the project um, in the end of the story it turns out something completely different than what you expected in some cases uh, better and in other cases worse so I wouldn't risk it to go into the worst side However, um, <coughs> <in a coughs> I have made an estimated prices for for house like this. How much is gonna cost in UK? Have in mind that in the US prices are lower than UK, so um, it's gonna cost you less. So for the two um, containers on the first floor, the two twenty feet, you're gonna need about three and a half thousand. Um, <coughs> pounds for each container to be done the way we have to and um, then you're gonna have about uh, two and a half up to three thousand pounds for the foundation which is very important in this project as I said in the start um, because we're gonna build the floor and, and the walls straight to the uh, foundation connecting it with the containers so it's very very important to, um, to just keep them um, everything uh, organized 
anyway um <clears throat> so yeah um so basically the first floor is gonna cost you around um <clears throat> ten thousand ten thousand pounds um and the second floor is gonna cost you another uh ten to twelve thousand pounds um i'm talking about prices um for um um inside finish without furnishing uh with the floors with the walls with everything uh without any lights and stuff like this separate you're gonna have to separate around five thousand pounds for the uh, electric installation and uh, plumbing so total cost of the house is gonna be approximately 20 25 thousand pounds when we add windows and doors all around the house we're gonna go up to um maybe 35 40 thousand pounds these prices are without the prices for the container so once we add the prices for the container we're gonna go um around 40 thousand pounds 45 in max if you buy them completely new which I would have suggest because uh, very often um, companies um, which sell containers sell them uh, because they are not um, um, as good condition as they supposed to be and they starting to rest and stuff like this and you don't want that in your uh, house so my suggestion is to go for um, for new ones so yeah um the whole project is um for maximum price of 40 up to forty-five thousand pounds with the price of the containers without the price of the land and the furnishing in the house so um of course every area different prices um i'm not going to talk about the uh, price of the land now i'm adding um some um, uh, furni out the outdoor furnishing in the house so it's gonna give a better look to our project um, but in my opinion um, this is um, one of the cheapest um, way of uh, building um, container ship house because actually um, you're using uh, almost 40 square meters of space open space in between the containers on the first floor um, which is uh, is basically coming to you for free because all you have to do there is just place the flooring and uh, doors and windows that's all so um, this is very very good option of course um, there is many other ways but um, this is one of my projects uh, which I have and that's why I have done it like this now watching it um, in the end I actually realized that um, I could have done something a bit different so I give you more space to work with but uh, still still I believe it's a good project okay so um, shortly I'm finishing and you can have a look on the uh, mm, final results of the project mm, if you have any questions or um, um, you have any requests for any specific uh, designs and you can't do it by your own you can always um, um, comment under the video or um, send me an email I have uh, my email pub published there um, in one of the videos um, I might put it under this one as well so um, you can send me an email I will try to respond to everyone and actually I want to apologize because I had about six or seven emails which I actually couldn't read from some of you guys but I had a problem with my email so I accidentally delete uh, a a lot um, unread emails and I couldn't recover them so I'm sorry if I haven't replied to anyone uh, to someone um, but if you still want me to help you with anything you can uh, just write me another email and um, I will make sure this time I don't uh, mess it up and I will try to reply to everyone um, 
so yeah that's that's all that's all from me um thank you for watching my video and please um, leave your comments likes dislikes or anything you want to ask or suggest thank you thank you very much for uh, watching my video